Hey, today we are gonna make an amazing yummy twist on brunch. We are gonna be making eggs benedict nachos. I mean, how delicious is this? Perfect for brunch, perfect for Mother's Day brunch, something different and delicious. So let's get these eggs started cooking. Um, it is gonna be so yummy. So I have my water simmering here and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of just white distilled vinegar. Um, supposedly it helps keep the eggs together a little bit more. I don't know, J uh, jury's out for me. I've done it both ways and I don't know, but that's what you're supposed to do. So I will put it in there. So in there, I'm gonna slowly break open my eggs, and stick it in the water. Try and get them in there same time so they cook at the same time and so delish so we've got our eggs in there and they are staying actually together now the cameraman wants to show you what these look like you can see they are staying each in their own little container. Now I have, see, I have two egg whites left from the hollandaise sauce that we made. So I'm just gonna stick those in just because they're here. A little extra protein, never hurt anyone. So we can get those to stay together. I don't know, I've never just done egg whites. So, but I thought, what the heck, we'd throw it in for a little extra protein. Now these are not gonna take that long. And of course you could do this ahead. You just don't want to cook them too much if you're going to reheat them. So, oh my gosh, it looks like I made egg flour soup here out of that egg white, <laughs> but I thought I'd experiment. Not sure that experiment worked, but that's also how you make egg drop soup. So while those are um, cooking, I'm going to take our English muffins that I have back here toasting away. I have our four English muffins here and I'm gonna cut them into nacho size. So, bite size, nacho size, maybe quarters will work. I don't know, can you see this over here? Can you see everything? Oh my gosh, yum. I have these crispy, these English muffins because that's how I like them so however you like them now you could butter the English muffins too if you wanted to but I think with the Bernays sauce I don't think I need to add more butter <laughs> but you could go for it no problem so a couple more here okay there's our nachos yum how yummy does that look so there's our base. Check on my eggs here real quick. So I want them to have, still I want them to be a little bit runny, but not too runny. And they are coming along. Of course, around my egg drop soup here. <laughs> so to this, I will start assembling. Get that out of the way push this out of the way a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do here. Okay, are we still good? Okay. You want to show this? What are eggs? Let's see if I can show you one. See we got our little egg pockets here and they can tell the yolks are not quite done. They're close though because they, I don't want them to get too done, but they're getting there. So quick and easy poached eggs. So to my nachos here, I have sauteed, I took about four cups of fresh spinach and I just cooked it down with a one diced jalapeno, just cause that's what we like. I put a diced jalapeno when I cook these. So there's jalapeno and spinach in here. Oh my gosh, smells good already, huh? Oh my gosh, <laughs> looks good already, yum. And then I have a half a package uh, it was five slices of Canadian bacon that I just fried up a little bit. So we'll put our Canadian bacon on here. Oh my gosh, seriously, how yummy is this? How much would mom love this? Especially um, 
Eggs Benedict lovers would love this. So now I am going to check on my eggs here. Oh, yep, they look, these look done. Done enough for us. So I'm gonna put them on a paper towel here because I don't wanna get my nachos all watery. I've got some egg white, my experiment. Get this out. Okay, see? And I'm just using a slotted spoon. Looks like that's a piece of egg white got going on there. Where's my last egg? There it is. Got him. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a little bit of this egg white and add it. Because why not? Okay, just get it dried out so we don't have wet eggs on our nice toast. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And then we will get these dried off a little bit. You can see how wet this paper, paper towel is, which we don't want that on our nachos. So I'm going to cut these and put them on top. So they are going to run a little bit, but the way it is. So I'm gonna cut these into, oh my gosh, these look perfect. Into bite-sized nacho size. And see they're runny just a little bit. They cooked, how quick was that? I mean, they cooked very quick, a couple of minutes. And because I, gonna spice these up a little bit let's um, I'm gonna put a little season salt and pepper on these because that's what I like on my eggs season salt a little bit of season salt and then I'm gonna put a little bit of the seasoned pepper on here spice those up a little bit and then let's put them on our nachos Oh my goodness, how, I mean, seriously, how yummy does this look? And who doesn't love nachos of every kind? Oh, yum, huh? Now to this, I have, I'm gonna, I have half an avocado that I just had. So, you know, we're gonna make these California style. I put a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of pepper and salt on the avocado. So let's put that on there because, you know, what's nachos without some avocado? And then I made my microwave like one minute uh, hollandaise. I made it actually Bernays. I put a little bit of tarragon in here and we are gonna pour this over the top. Oh my goodness. I mean, seriously, yum. Can you say yum? Yes. Okay. Now I could garnish this with a little bit of parsley, but since I don't have parsley at my fingertips right this second, we're just going to go like this the way it is. And there you have it. Eggs, Benedict, nachos, avocado, spinach, jalapeno. And I mean, can't wait to dig into this. So great idea for brunch. Great idea for Mother's Day and really easy and different. Oh, let's taste it. Let's give it a little taste here. I wanna get a little bite of everything on my little bite here. Got some avocado, some egg. Oh my gosh, if I can get one. <laughs> Maybe, there we go. Mmm, delicious, mmm. Now, I have those English muffins nice and crispy, so they really do taste like chips. But, I mean, this is a winner. Five-star brunch recipe. So, enjoy, and thanks for watching.